Uh, the next thing we are trying to discuss now is how to uh, set up Apache and PHP uh, and perhaps even Perl uh, for some of the setups that we need as part of our projects. So again, since you're an open SUSE, you can uh, you can go into uh, your menu, go into System, follow it all the way to EAST Administrator Settings. It throws up a password dialog. Uh, enter your root password. And now you see this option called as software. You go into software management. Uh, it sort of opens up the package manager. And the package manager is going to go and at least pull in one update. And then it shows you uh, an interface which looks like this. So since you're going to be working on LAMP platform, you already have the Linux. You need to ensure that you got Apache and PHP and MySQL. So just type in Apache here and say search. Oops. Just type in Apache here. So it's going to search for you. And it will show you um, many options here. So what we do is we actually go into that and say we're going to use the Apache web server, and we need the the, the documentation. Uh, please do select the Apache Devil. We will require it at later point in time. Uh, pick up some of the example pages from Apache. Okay, we pick up Apache 2 mod Perl, we pick up Apache mod uh, PHP 5. Uh, those are two uh, fantastic deals. You can see the uh, Apache uh, models for running the server, uh, pre forking or utils. Mm, it's, it's already picked up for you on your behalf. Just click on the worker model as well. Uh, the, Lapache, uh, the Apache uh, portable runtime APR is also selected for you on your behalf. And so I guess th those are the main th things that you need to pick up in the first instance and uh, just go ahead here and say accept it would actually show up that in addition to the manual selection the following packages have been changed to resolve dependencies so now we got Apache we also got a many uh, PHP packages PHP 5, PHP 5, C type, DOM, hash, icon, JSON, PDO, SQLite tokenizer, XML reader. Um, so in, in case you're trying to install SQLite separately, you don't have to because if PHP 5 requires SQLite, you can be sure that uh, the SQLite package would be installed. And now it shows you that as part of the package installation, it's going to pick up something like about close to 6 MB of uh, data and it'll start installing the packages one by one. So here we see a uh, Perl tie package and then we libmm for the shared memory library and then we have libapr1devil that's being installed so these are the various packages uh, being installed uh, out of the total uh, about 32-33 MB of stuff that needs to be installed So uh, there we going on at right now at 15% and uh, oh there okay so now PHP 5 installation starts and uh, so th that's how you actually got to go and set up your Apache and PHP 5 uh, a similar approach you have to take in for Perl uh, you would need to uh, select multiple packages of Perl uh, depending on uh, the packages that are required for uh, Bugzilla installation and similarly you need to ensure that you also have got uh, MySQL and the MySQL drivers installed okay so this is pretty much the approach that uh, folks have to take when they're installing either Apache or PHP or Perl or MySQL. Okay.
So go ahead and give it a try.